Hello, it's me, Simeon Gaming, and today we're going to be replacing the outer shell for this new 3DS XL with a new one. So, yeah, let's uh, begin! I feel like I need to take a thing. Right, so let's begin with the top one, the most difficult one. Yeah, that's the that's the bottom one. You also have a rubber bits to replace. The original ones. Yes, yeah, the top bit. We're gonna be replacing the top bit. So we need to open it. So it may be better. And uh, carefully pull these out. Now I would prefer to keep the original ones, but I have new ones just in case. Wait a minute. These weren't necessary. <laughs> okay, dang it. This is only the four. I did these because I'm like regular 3 ds it was like eight screws. So let's okay, this one's damaged. <laughs> oh, okay. They're not coming off. Easily. And there you go, this one's messed up. Start in the corner and like do weird motion of going on. See, this one was good. It survived. <laughs> And at the corner, do tilt, and then if we go around the screw, it doesn't really matter if you scratch the plastic under it, under it because it's not visible either way. Or right, you can just stab it, I guess. <laughs> okay, so remove the screws. Put them somewhere safe. Like that. Now by the looks of the shell, it should slide off. And there we go, big ass low resolution screen and a bunch of mess like the cameras, except wait. We need to transfer the camera lens. Because this one doesn't have it, of course. You just kinda push it through the fingernails. It was a needle. I don't want to touch the inside of the lens. Since cleaning it would be a pain in the air. In the air then. Yeah. Get in the slot. Ok, 
Okay, fine. We're gonna use our microfiber cloth. <laughs> Clean it. Mm -hmm. You want the adhesive to be gone. It doesn't really matter if it's crooked. Since it's already a circle anyway. So then it's transferred from the old one, that ugly one. So wipe the inner lens with one of the microfiber cloths here. And then pop it back on. Actually, you know what? Now I'm at it. I'm at it for clean the sides. Using Q-tips in this case would be a bit, a bit better, but this works just fine. And this has just been reduced to the two ribbon cables, I think. Instead of three. So are you telling me that replacing the shin top with the old 3DS is bigger pain of day than it is? <laughs> it is, and, okay, sure. Put that in and put more stuff in. And, uh... Whoops, I didn't clip it on fully. Now I'm here, so it's just kind of. I'm clipping the here now. What in the world is going on? Can you this? It's not clip in. Force it. Kind of clipped in now. <sighs> the screwdriver should. This screw should make it attached. Should. I just kind of changed it for the turned on. It did. Why? <laughs> yeah, these are apparently the best fitting on any experience, but not quite. And there we go. You can see there's still a light issue. It doesn't bother me though. So it's fine.
So you will have to. It's a little bit darker, I think. Mm, but then the rubber bits are light and like, it is not exact. Actually, for some reason, it looks better than the original ones. But eh, now we move to the other side. I'll have replacements if I even, if I wanted to. In the bag. Now it is technically Japanese because I couldn't find any American or European ones. So this was like the only choice. Thanks to Iron Press. <laughs> you just do this. Now I would actually want to transfer the screws since the screws that came Where is that uh, I have lost the a bit. Oh yeah. The screws that came with this are white and it's supposed to be black. We kind of need to remove the little egg things. It makes so that the screw does, does not fall out or fall out of place. It's gonna be a bit difficult, as it seems. But I'm gonna still do it. bit in the screw pull out don't hook on to that dang it Okay, that has been identified as gone forever. Fortunately. So, we have a bang. We came with things, and we're just gonna bore one of those spinny things from here. wrap it can stay in place like that the protective plastic yeah
just do something similar to what we essentially just did. go there we go now we can just it on and screw it in place and there's the new Nintendo 3DS XL Like, I mean, it's not, it doesn't have that effect that the original has, but it's definitely better than that, these random splotches of stuff. Like the black edges here. I mean, the black edges didn't look that bad, but the splotches did. Now, I know if this is, will be vulnerable to, like, the same type of defect as the original ones, but... They look pretty good. They feel fine. Not like the originals, but good enough. <laughs> Doesn't look ugly at the very least. Nice. For some reason, even the font, like the Nintendo font, the Rock Band shells, have much trouble. It looks fine. Well, this 2014 Nintendo looks kind of, but the Nintendo logo looks fine. I mean, it doesn't have the sticker, but I mean, who cares? Of course, I didn't, I didn't even have a chance to figure it out. It's still fine. It just it takes a while. Typical stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.